Hello, Moira here with another video about our local ecologist Ted Cook. During Heritage Week, Ted led a walk through McCroom Castle Domain in order to plant a, an oak tree and then to walk on to view another amazing oak tree, a 500 year old, at least 500 year old oak tree known as the McCarthy Oak. So see, we just, the more stones the better. Why, why the more stones the better? I've actually had to add stones in some places here. Drainage, what else? Heat, heat, heat. 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 they're storage heaters. The soil never freezes and the roots of trees never freeze at minus 22 uh, because of the stones are collecting the heat all year. And thirdly, very importantly, Minerals, come Minerals. the earth is essentially lots of iron, 60%, maybe 50% of iron, a lot of iron and stone. And these are our feet, the magma is still 5,200 degrees, throwing up calcium and other precious metals and minerals. Good, good. If you, if you leave it out under the rain and let, let the rain wash out the, the sodium, salt, salt is not friendly to terrestrial systems. How long would you leave it out? I leave it out a week. And if it stops raining, or we'll throw it up in a ditch and um, feed it into the compost. All known trace elements valuable to the plant kingdom are in seaweed. All known trace elements. Or weed, or weed. Hold it. Or weed. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. But all, all, all seaweeds are edible. There's no such thing as a poisonous seaweed. The only thing is you can overdose on iodine and upset the thyroid. But everyone here should be on seaweed in their diet because Fukushima um, is still spewing radiation. Would you move to the other side, Liz? Yes. Fukushima is still very, very active on thyroids. We're going to start feeding it shortly. But Ted, if the, if the beach is contaminated, if it's not a blue beach, is it safe to get that seaweed? At the moment, the southwest of Ireland, and the type of currents we're getting, that is why the Canadians are want to buy up the west coast of the coast. There is no coast left in North or South America that's clear, quite free of nuclear. Mm. So we need to be on more scenery. And I remind you, I remind you, what is the ancestor of all land plants? Think that. What is the ancestor of all land? That's the Irish birch. Yeah. Sorry. Silver birch brought in. It's not. Do you feel it? No, no, I think so. Feel it and also feel <laughs> feel the leaf. That is Betula hibernica. Uh, that's the true birch. The silver birch is not true. Uh, it's lovely. Oh, they're gorgeous. Now, there is a beach that has failed. <coughs> Oh, sorry, is there youngsters here? <laughs> oh, so you guys will have a look at you, please. <laughs> Make an effort. And <laughs> Noah, would you yeah. help set the tree? Please, I'm going to get you a... Um, a When you're planting a tree, it's good to know the volume of the root ball. It's good to know the volume of the root ball. 
that is we need that depth it actually only put it up in late early April it's not long put it up so we're going to have to as we're planting it we're going to have to go very easy on it now would you please the soil comes out Onto the bag, yeah, please. Oh, such gorgeous soil. Oh, the latest research is one, uh, one point one trillion microbes per gram of soil. Uh, less than ninety-nine point seven percent we've yet to understand. It is more alive, truly. It's the most alive thing. And it is strange, there's no protection for it. Europe has been promising a soil directive for 30 years. We still don't have one. We don't understand soil. It doesn't fit in with the habitats directive. <laughs> No, not a bother. No, 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 no. There's our friend. Oh, he's a friend. He's a friend. He's a friend. Remember him, try not to kill him. He's a friend. He feeds on the eggs of vine weevil. Oh, he's our friend. Now, please continue. <laughs> he's like a little mini snake. That's like a worm. No, 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 they're not. Wireworms are different from the genus, they're one species. If we see wireworms, we may have to. <coughs> no, 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 I love soil, I am soil. For a moment in time, though. What did you one say was the ancestor of all plants? <coughs> you didn't answer that one. We're starting to meet stories. Michael, you're a biochemist by training. What is the ancestor of all land plants? What is this ancestor? Where do we come from? We'll see. What Get gives you five fingers? Seaweed is the mother of all of the land plants. All land plants love seaweed because it reminds them where they originally came from. Just like we enjoy joy, we enjoy happiness because that is our nature. Now, although sadly a lot of the youth are taking drugs to get it artificially, um, I won't go on about that, but just in I'm not talking about pot, no, people. I'm talking about <laughs> there, are, there are horrible things like needles and powders, dirty things like that. The what? Yeah, the poppy. I've time for the poppy. I've never had any of these. I'll show you. This is uh, Oxford, and I assure you, husband's a steady good, good company. <laughs> no, and we won't be putting anything in your drink. Plenty of stones, sandstone around here. Now I'm going to. What I'm going to do? I'm going to do now is look. I'm going to just sit it in. Elizabeth, will you tell me what is the rule of south facing? Yeah, in the nursery, plants are all growing south facing. That's south here. So, are my south facing? Not really. It costs it's energy better. to re readjust its crown discipline. Is that south facing? No. Tell me when it's south facing. Yeah. That's it, I reckon. Now, I'm afraid because, because I only potted it up. Oh, look at our spider. Oh man, I took a spider away from its home in Kilbarry. <laughs> oh, could you place this creature somewhere where we... There was no need to do something. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been me. Quite <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> now, we're going to have to... Ted, can you explain the south facing? What part is facing south? The leaves, the pointing. The leaves. leaves. Top of the leaves. <laughs> the, way, the, the leaves. The leaves are facing. Do you see that, uh, Noah yeah, yeah. and 
78. Do you see it? It's, it's facing south. And if you look carefully, the entire architecture is yes. structured towards the south. Now we're gonna just try without disturbing the root ball. So, so seaweed, number one, reduces stress. And of course it is stressful, this tree is being handled. Plants don't like to be handled, I reckon, especially today because on the biodynamic calendar, it's an unfavorable day, ladies. Did you know that? <laughs> oh no, sorry, today's leaf. No, it, the planets are good for planting today, according to Rudolf Steiner. Now, Why? Uh, there, there is stability in, 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 in there, there's cosmic <coughs> stability. When? Today, all day, and the next two days. Are the you talking about the moon or something? Yes, well, the, 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 moon is, the, the moon is central in understanding biodynamics and working with all of them. Absolutely central. Right, okay, guys, I'm going to try and without, without bursting, without bursting. Now, I'm going to have to ask you, Josie, would you lift the tree? And I'll try, yeah. And would you, my dear man, shake that out? Good man yourself, whoever that is. That's fine though. That's fine. Plenty of stones. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now, would everyone like to put a handful of clean dirt? Would everyone like to just put a handful in there and make a wish? Because there is every there is every chance to believe that this tree will will see. It's not too close we'll to see the kingdom. Okay. Every chance that this tree will see the kingdom. The, the consciousness that we so lack in these in this existence. <sighs> the inability to see the spirit in each other. She said we see, are you black or white? Are you rich or poor? Are you fat or thin? Are you educated or not? Where are you from? What tribe are you? Yeah. That is ego and unconsciousness. So we need to move a step further. Or why should plants make an effort to make oxygen if we're just going to start staying in this shocking state of unconsciousness? So my prayer is, and our prayer all for all of us, is that this tree will live to see, will survive to witness the growth of... Better be. The growth of... Live to see a better day. The growth of gratitude. Something that's not in the world. The growth of appreciation. Carl Jung in his last lecture, Carl Jung the psychoanalyst said, man is in the mid-morning of evolution. By lunchtime, he may have come to the realization that the dream of conquest is destroying the cosmos. We are affecting the cosmos. The most powerful vibration known as consciousness. We're blessed with that. As Jung said, a bad thought is much more powerful than a bullet. And he said, until we begin to change our dream from conquest to, in, to embracing the naturalness, I'm giving it the direct translation from Latin. We use Latin. The naturalness of life, until we move from conquest, the dream of conquering, being a controller, Harvey Weinstein energy, all of this energy, it's in all of us, it's not, no one's free of it, maybe the masters, in fact I do believe Christ was free of, 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 of the grossness that permeate our nature, but anyway, and, and it is also believed I recommend everyone start reading a beautiful author, David Orr Hawkins. David Orr Hawkins, his last publication, he would have been four times PhD in psychiatry. Um, he would have been one of the noted psychiatrists. He's dead recently, he's written a load of books. But um, he believed that the master, whoever your master is, your dad, Everyone has their little message. The world is protected by the presence and the blessings of the masters. But the, the master, by the presence, 
can outbalance the entire negativity of the ego of seven billion people. Do you believe that? That Christ outweighed the deep lust, jealousy, greed and envy that we have. The Master outweighed that and kept cosmos in order. So we must be thankful. And I'm aware that we're with some Christians here today and they're most welcome. Now, the next thing is practicing, practicing Christians. Yeah, yeah, born again Christians. You don't stamp that down, Ted. You just leave it. We are going to, but first we're going oh, yeah. to just turn. We're going to, we're oh. going to, would you chop that sword in, in half? Good stab. Chop it, please. Yeah, I, I'd stab it if you don't mind using yeah. such a grotesque expression. I feel dreadful using it. That's it. Okay. Now, grass folded in. Grass folded in. So that you don't have, so that the grass now doesn't have to start, doesn't have to start using the roundup. Fold it in well, yeah. Grass folded in. Grass folded in. Oh, who's handling me this? Is it Josie? Let me know you've got a hand. No, the rest can stay, it's too grassy. Now we can stamp it. Now we can stamp it. Start, start, Michael, stamp it. Yeah, yeah. Now I ask you, John. Would you, would you anchor that in? Ideally, are you regularly in the Dominican walking uh, to the Mina? The next time you bring a job, pour the water and just... Two litres at a go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But always water up land. Don't water mm. the tree, you're damaging the tree. Don't water there, water in there. Now, we have rabbits and I'm really thrilled to tell you we've got hairs. Do you know we've got hairs no. here? No. <laughs> Twice recently and some years ago I saw hairs on the 